November, Metro Detroit's concerts. Guys, we have a packed lineup. It's not a big lineup, but it's a really powerful lineup coming to Metro Detroit this November. My name is Mike Perna, local real estate agent here in Metro Detroit. I get calls from people just like yourself every single day looking to make a move, buying a home or selling a home here in Metro Detroit, and I love it. I love helping people just like you. All right, first up, we've got Pitbull, opened by Enrique Iglesias and Ricky Martin on Friday, November 3rd at Little Caesars Arena. These guys are Latin music legends, and they are no strangers to sold out arenas and stardom. Pitbull, which is also known as Mr. Worldwide, has a career spanning over two decades. Enrique Iglesias is often called the king of Latin pop. He's been enchanting audiences since the late 90s, and of course, Ricky Martin, who skyrocketed to international fame with his hit Live in La Vida Loca. Who does not remember that? Well, other than like young millennials and Gen Z, but you know, this show is not for you. This show is for us older rockers. Top hits by Pitbull include Timber and Give Me Everything. And then by Enrique Iglesias, he's probably gonna be playing Hero and Bolemos. And Ricky Martin, of course, is gonna do Live in La Vida Loca and She Bangs. An interesting fact, Pitbull's real name is Armando Christian Perez. I had no idea before I actually looked it up. Also on November 3rd, and this is probably the show I'm gonna go to, is Ben Sharkey. He's a local favorite, one of my favorites. He's playing the Willis Show Bar again, and Ben Sharkey's a local known artist known for his jazz-infused pop and charismatic performances. So Ben Sharkey takes a lot of mainstream music like Black Hole Sun and turns it more into like a, as if a Dean Martin or a Frank Sinatra were doing it. It's actually super fun. He also does a ton of his own music that he writes and performs himself. Next up, The Head and the Heart on November 6th over at the Michigan Theater. This is an indie folk band from Seattle that gained recognition with their debut album in 2011, and their top hits are Rivers and Roads, Lost My Mind, and interesting fact, their band name was chosen to represent the heart and the head, the two elements they believe that guide their music. Stevie Nicks, coming November 7th at LCA. I'm definitely gonna go see this one. Stevie Nicks, who's a rock and roll legend, is best known for her work with Fleetwood Mac, but also her solo career. Her top hits are Edge of 17, Landslide, and interesting fact, she's the only woman to have been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice. Not once, twice. She's that good. Depeche Mode, and I've seen these guys like half a dozen times. They're coming November 8th to Little Caesars Arena, and the history behind them is they're an English electronic band. Depeche Mode has been an icon of the industry since the 80s, and their top hits include Enjoy the Silence and Personal Jesus, which was redone by Marilyn Manson. My opinion, the original was actually better. One man's opinion. Interesting fact, their name was taken from a French fashion magazine. Next up, we've got Metallica with Pantera. They're actually playing two shows, November 10th at Ford Field, Metallica is one of the big four bands of thrash metal, and of course, Pantera is known for pioneering the groove metal scene. Top bits for Metallica include Enter Sandman and Master of Puppets. Pantera would be Walk and Cowboys from Hell. I would actually list out all of their top hits, but Metallica's literally had over 40 top hits through their career, which is craziness. And then Metallica's drummer, Lars Ulrich, originally trained to be a professional tennis player, but he got pulled into the band and ended up just sticking with it. I think that's probably for the better. Stacey Poland's coming November 11th at one of my favorite venues, TV Lounge. I tend to go there at least once a month. Detroit's own Stacey Poland is a seminal figure in techno music. His top hits include Kiss the Funk and Sweat. Poland also studied engineering before his music career took off and intended to be an electrical engineer. What would have happened if he had done that and not gone into the techno scene. Like he was definitely one of those guys that helped push and helped create the Detroit second wave techno scene, including movement, which used to be called Demp. Metallica again is playing Ford Field on November 12th. That's the second show, but different openers. This time they've got Five Finger Death Punch. Top hits for Five Finger Death Punch include Wrong Side of Heaven and Bad Company. These guys actually put on a good show. I've seen them a couple of times. Also, Five Finger Death Punch got their name from the classic martial arts cinema, Five Finger Death Punch. Toby Mac coming November 12th over at LCA. So that's playing like right there near Ford Field. There's gonna be a lot of people downtown on the 12th. Toby Mac is actually a Christian hip hop artist known for his soulful voice and meaningful lyrics. His top hits are Speak Life, Eye on It, and Toby Mac has actually won seven Grammy Awards. I will not be at that show, by the way. That's just not my jam. So sorry. November 21st, we've got Lauren Hill over at Little Caesars Arena. Lauren Hill gained a lot of famous success as one of the founding members of the Fugees before she broke off and started her own solo career. Her top hits include Doo Wop, That Thing, X Factor, and interesting fact, she's also an actress known for her role in Sister Act 2. Next up, we've got Zed's Dead coming November 25th to the Masonic Temple. This is a Canadian electronic music duo that specializes in a wide range of genres. Their top hits include Adrenaline and Lost You. The duo's name is a tribute to the character Zed and 2D from the film Pulp Fiction. Also on November 25th, we've got Uncle Cracker. I will not be at this show. I do like the machine shop where he's playing, but I am not a Uncle Cracker fan, just putting it out there. Little history, Uncle Cracker is actually a Detroit native, gained fame as a DJ before becoming a solo artist. Just don't tell people he's from Detroit. That just, like, Detroit sometimes gets a bad rap out there. We don't need to keep piling on. Let's just go with Eminem. Eminem is from Detroit. Kid Rock is even from Detroit, but Uncle Cracker will just, 
we're good. We can skip that. His top hits include Follow Me and Smile. I didn't know he had hits. Interesting fact, Uncle Cracker's real name is Matthew Schaefer. Probably way better than Uncle Cracker. Probably should have stuck with it. Now, this show I would go see on November 25th over at the Fillmore in Detroit is Bone, Thugs, and Harmony. This is an American rap group from Cleveland, and they're known for their fast paced rapping and harmonizing style. Their top hits include The Crossroads, Meet you at the crossroads, crossroads. I mean, everybody remembers that one, right? First of the month. And they're also the only group that has worked with both Tupac and Notorious B.I.G., which is really interesting to me. Now, interesting story behind these guys. So these guys had actually, with their last couple of bucks, taken a bus to get to L.A. to go and try to perform in front of one of the record labels. I can't recall which one. Now, when they had gotten to L.A., they found that the guy that they actually needed to see was at a festival in Cleveland. So then they had to find a way to find money, so they actually begged to get the bus money to get back to Cleveland, ended up performing in front of them, and got the record deal. Tantric, still a thing, guys, from the 90s, playing November 20th at the Token Lounge. Tantric is an American rock band that was formed in 1999, with their top hits including Breakdown, Morning, and also they're known as being the most overplayed band in 1999 on radio. Thank God we have Spotify now so I can actually like skip forward. I love that music, I love their song, I love their album when it first came out. About three weeks in, it was just, we were done. We were done. Now the band's name was inspired by the concept of union of opposites in Eastern philosophy. So that is it guys. That is a full rundown of the best concerts in Metro Detroit in November. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button and if we can be of any help, any help at all on finding your next home or getting your current one ready for market, give us a call, shoot us a text, shoot us an email, and I'll see you on the next video.